ਚੈਪਟਰ 3 ਪਾਰਟ ਸੀ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਰਮੇਸ਼ ਜੀ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਸੀ ਸੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਜਰਨਲਿਸਟ ਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਰਪਿੰਦਰ ਦੇ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਅਜੋਰੀ ਵਾਈ ਬਾਹਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੋਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਵਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਵੀ ਕੱਲ ਹੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਘਰ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ 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 ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਨਾ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਨੇਬਾਜ਼ੀ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਾਰਪ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਗੋਲਡ ਮੈਡਲ ਮਿਲਣਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੋਲਡ ਮੈਡਲ ਦੇਣਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਵਾਈ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਭਰਾ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹਿ ਜਾਓ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹ ਪੀ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਹਜੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ 2 ਘੰਟਿਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਸੂਈ ਚ ਧਾਗਾ ਪਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਹਦੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਆ ਚੈਪਟਰ 3 ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਆ ਵੀ ਗਨ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਫਰਸਟ ਸੋ ਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ देयर ਆਰ 3 ਬੇਸਿਕ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਮੈਂਟਸ ਸੋ ਨੰਬਰ 1 देयर ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਡੋਮਿਨੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਸਰਵੈਂਟ ਟੈਨਮੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਇੰਜੋਇਸ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਯੂਸ ਬਾਈ ਡੋਮਿਨੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੂ ਇੰਜੋਇਸ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਡੋਮਿਨੈਂਟ so just like uh, as i mentioned if you want to go to the lot c and and a b gives the way to reach to the lot c so a b are the servant and c is a dominant and uh, and the second requirement is the easement must accommodate the dominant so basically so the servant must accommodate the so the easement must accommodate the dominant and it is the land which enjoys the benefit is the land not a person if it's a person then is a contractual license this thing is to is to be remembered it is the land which enjoys the benefit not a person if it's a person then is called a contractual license is very very important to remember and the third thing is is man must be capable of forming the subject matter of a grant it means boundaries must be identifiable so the easement boundaries must be identifiable and so remember three three key things there must be dominant and servant tenement easement must accommodate the dominant tenant and easement must be capable of forming the subject matter of a grant so now we're going to do the question regarding this so we go to the question number 2 in bc there are three basic requirement for an easement which of the following is a requirement easement must be negative in nature is false easement must accommodate the servant tenement that's false it must accommodate the dominant the dominant and servant tenement must be owned by different parties false fourth the easement must be capable of forming the subject matter of a grant mean identifiable boundaries that's true so it's number 4 then we go to the question number 11 in bc there are three basic requirement for an easement which of the following is not a requirement there must be dominant servant tenement that's true the easement must accommodate the dominant tenement that's true the dominant servant tenement must be owned by different parties that's false the easement must be capable of forming the subject matter of a grant mean identifiable boundary that's true this is number 3 and then question number 12 mary registered a document given to her by john in the land title office the document states that i john grant mean gave to mary and and her heirs assigns ex- executors and administrators a right of way hire a right of way for persons and vehicle along and upon the easterly 30 feet of the southerly 64 feet of lot 1 plan 910 in order to give access to mary's property lot 2 plan 910 the interest granted is so what kind of interest is registered what do we call it we call it an easement is number 4 and then we go from there to 32 and 35 so we go to 32 in bc there are three basic requirement which of the following is one of the requirement easement is negative in effect false easement has identifiable boundaries that's true there must be servant tenement adjoining a dominant tenement not necessary four the grant must be in actual occupation the grantor must be actual occupation of the servant tenement at the time he should grant the easement this is only number 2 easement has identifiable boundary mean the subject matter of a grant so, so number 2 and then we go to 35 which is very important which of the following statement about the easements are true number a the person enjoying the benefit is the dominant tenement that's false it's not the person so circle the person it is the land which enjoys the benefit 
it is the land if it's a person then it's called a contractual license so a is false it should be land there rather than the person b the granting of an easement by by land owner to to another conveys ownership of the easement area to the dominant that's false it doesn't mean that you become the owner c where a right or a privilege over land benefits a long established trade on a dominant element this has been held by the court in some cases to be sufficient to create an easement yes sometimes you are using the passage for long time 15 20 years sometimes the government makes it an easement that passage so that's true a tenant who occupies land under 20 year lease can grant an easement to a neighboring pro pro property owner and the easement if registered in the land at our office will run with the land even after the lease expires that's false so basically if you lease some place you can't give the easement to somebody so it's only c answer is c and that's it for this part